hello everyone welcome back to the channel and christmas is near so i got some gift for you guys today's video is going to be about how to enable fsr3 frame generation in cyberpunk so first let me make this clear that uh, this is not anything official this is just a mod uh, so because uh, the fsr3 hasn't been released with the cyberpunk yet so let's get this started first download this fsr3 cyberpunk zip from the link in the description below from this link i will paste this in the description okay after downloading the zip just extract it to any folder i'm extracting it right here so after extracting you will get two files uh, so first tell me one thing that you can do the whole tutorial by just following this seven to eight point uh, or you can follow me step by step i will be doing that too so you can pause this video right here you can follow these steps or you can follow me okay so let's get this started so first extract uh, this zip you will get two zip uh, one is dlss tweak for cyberpunk and dlss2 uh, fsr okay so extract these both into separate folder extract each archive to separate folder you can use this option from winder okay so you just need to copy uh, everything from this folder and this folder to the games exe uh, where the exe is located okay so first thing first uh, first uh, paste this bean folders content just copy it go to the games installation directory paste it right here and after that go back dlss to fsr 3 just copy these two we don't need these two you just need those these two dll okay just copy these two and paste it in the installation directory i've already pasted it so it's showing me to uh, rename or repaste uh, whatever so after that uh, we need to find the dlss tweak dot ini which we just pasted uh, right now so open this to uh, ini file with uh, notepad okay so here comes a tricky part uh, we need to find something and find a path to be specific and replace the path with our uh, dlss file okay so bear with me just uh, follow my step and it will be good to go okay so let me bring up the readme file you will be needing this to uh, locate the part and locate, locate the name okay so find uh, first copy this nvg dlx nvgx dls.g copy this one come to this text file press ctrl plus f it will bring the find and paste it after pasting down click on direction down click on find next here you can see we have found this file okay so what we need to do is at very first uh, at very first first we need to delete this semicolon or comma whatever you call it first we need to delete this comma from the next line okay because we will be modifying this next line this is just for the finding we don't have to do anything in this line we need to modify something in the next line okay so first we need to delete this semicolon just delete it and after that you we need to delete this whole line or whole path you can see this is just a random path say username username whatever so we need to delete this whole path don't delete this space okay just leave this space just delete the text okay just delete the text after deleting go to the cyberpunk installation directory after that select this dlss twix wrapper dll and copy this files path location okay how you can do that you can select this file after that you can click on the address bar you can right click and copy or you can do another thing select this file right click on it go to properties and after that you can see the location here you can left click and drag this path and copy it okay so you can do both in this ways after that uh, you need to paste it right here okay after the space don't don't remove this space paste the location and after that press a forward slash okay after this forward slash we need to do another thing which is just copy this files name just right click on it 
uh, right click on it rename and copy this whole name with the dll because we need the dll path okay so we're gonna right click copy don't change anything just copy the name and after that you can close this folder and we need to paste it after this forward slash this forward slash okay so <clears throat> we are done here i might have removed a line from here i will press and enter okay it was like this earlier yeah so i might have deleted this extra space line so make sure this space line is there okay so that is uh, that is the tweak we have to do now i'm just gonna file and save just click on file and save and run the game you can skip ahead uh, one thing uh, if your tutorial is successful you will get this message uh, at the start up of the game but uh, if you don't get the message uh, you need to try again but if you do get the message you will know that the tutorial is working successfully or the tweak is working successfully so click ok just wait for the game to boot up you can fast forward a little bit <coughs> best thing about and behind. Okay, the best thing about this mod is that uh, you can use all the other upskill there with the PSF3 frame generation like for me uh, let's turn first everything off and just use the normal DLSS okay, so this is just the normal DLSS uh, and now notice my FPS it's around 70 now i'm gonna turn the frame generation on this is called the dlss frame generation but it's actually the fsr3 frame generation this is just the uh, toggling stuff okay so after enabling it 